One of the topics I like a lot to read about is game theory. I know, I'm a geek, but you already know this if you already subscribed to our channel. If you haven't, you should click below this video and subscribe to Digital Branch on YouTube. And like this, you will never miss out on another episode where I tell you more about digital marketing, online marketing tips, case studies and so on. Coming back to my hobby, I was telling you that I like game theory a lot. It's a topic that was actually formalized by John von Neumann and you probably heard of it for sure if you've seen A Beautiful Mind. Remember John Nash and the movie A Beautiful Mind? There was there a scene in the movie where uh, John and his friends were in a bar talking to each other and a very cute blonde entered the bar. She was also at, uh, she was coming to the bar together with her friends. John and his buddies are discussing that if all of them go for the blunt, all of them will lose because eventually this will raise the competition, this will raise the bar and probably the blonde will cho choose none of them and also the friends of the cute blonde will be upset because of this. That's how John actually came up with the insight that individual ambition and competition doesn't serve the common good. And in any non-zero-sum game, actually a mix of competition and cooperation is needed. Coming back to digital marketing and to marketing, two things that I think are great in game theory that actually you should apply in, on your, in your digital marketing strategy are exactly this. First of all, you shouldn't play the game. You should play the game and the opponents because that's exactly how it is. You're not just focusing on your customer. You're focusing on your customer and on your business and on your promotion campaigns and so on in the context, in the general context of the market, in the general context, context where your opponents, your competitors are also offering different stuff to that final customer. So it's actually the same principle that you will find in the Blue Ocean Strategy. That's exactly what the book Blue Ocean Strategy is about, about the fact that instead of competing on the same customer, you should be probably finding a new blue ocean where there isn't any competition. You should find a customer or a certain unique selling proposition that no one else has. And secondly, as John Nash was saying, a mix of competition and cooperation is needed. It's also something that we, fly, we find in the Blue Ocean strategy. What it means is that instead of getting into a price war, instead of getting into a marketing war and so on, it's best to go for segmentation and profiling of the customer and of your unique value proposition.